All right. Let's see. You can't see my spinning wheel. Okay, I have my spinning wheel with me today. So there's my lovely Sonata. So you can see it's all set up. And uh, I suppose maybe I'll try to do it like this. Um, Charlie appears to be joining us. That would be the cat. Terribly sorry. So I'm just, I'm oiling my wheel while I talk. Um, so today, today we're just talking about spinning and uh, I'm just taking the opportunity to go ahead and oil my wheel because I haven't done that for the last hour and usually I try to oil every half an hour. Uh, and my wheel is actually getting use because it is spin together week. So I have already made um, one um, skein of yarn and, and I wanted to show you that I have, here's one bobbin done and I'm gonna grab the camera. And uh, here's my second bobbin all done. And Ina distracted me so I have this one random little like piece that's plied back on itself. Hopefully you can see that uh, here and here because she's a very, very good distraction. She's like a really good distraction. Um, but today I wanted to talk about spinning. So hopefully, yep, there we go. All right, let me grab my wheel oil. That way I don't leave it out here and forget it. Uh, so I have been trying to make sure that I, I wheel my, or oil my wheel, wheel my oil. That's not, not really oil my wheel um, frequently because I've been spinning a lot more than I typically do and Ina has actually let me spin. That's been the amazing part. Um, she's been sitting beside me holding my knee and telling me that she's helping. Um, of course she also took off with my full bobbins yesterday and was carrying them around and waving them in the air so that was perhaps a little less helpful. Uh, so anyway this week is um, part of Spin Together and if you watched the videos from a couple weeks ago, you know that I joined um, Team Pearly Shell Pirates um, with my friends over at um, Pearly Shell in Ilwaka, Washington. And yeah, spinning, that's right. She was all excited. She's like, yay, spinning. And she's like carrying my bobbins around. And then um, if, if you don't have a Sonata, you may not know that it has um, an inbuilt Lazy Kate and it has these, um, Oh, I'm just going to call them spokes, um, but they're essentially just bobbin holders, right? Um, that sit down in a, in a piece of wood here and then they hold your bobbins. So she's been like stealing those and taking them and carrying them around um, because that's like her favorite thing to do at the moment is to carry them around and there's two of them. So then she, you know, rings them together because they make fun music. So, um, you know, on the one hand, it's really nice because she's been letting me spin, and on the other hand, I wish she would stop taking all the pieces off of my wheel. Um, like, we start in the mornings and she's okay for a while, and then she gets all curious and, and goes over and decides to, like, steal my stuff. So, um, I'm about ready to start plying on my wheel, and I haven't decided if I want to do a chain ply or um, just pop together another two ply. So, I thought I would ask you, uh, my small audience, what you think. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm doing here. So this is, this is my lovely wheel, and I have uh, taken my brake band, and I've loosened my brake band. And I'm just going to pop that off. And then um, with the Sonata, your flyer clicks in um, back here in the back, just like that. Um, and then you can lift this piece up so you can slide this off. And a lot of times what I do is I will go ahead and I will drop, um, drop my wheel down. And I have a story to tell you about my, my brake band because you'll notice um, it's a piece of string. So we'll talk about that here in a second. But here's, here's my bobbin. I'm just going to take that off. So I have my full bobbin. Here's my two full bobbins. So they look pretty good. Um, not my finest spinning, <laughs> not my finest spinning. I definitely could have been more even in my spinning, but it is what it is at this point. So what do you guys think? Should I, um, should I try some chain plying or should I do some two plying? Um, I'll be honest, most of the time I do, um, most of the time I do a two ply. 
occasionally I'll do a three ply. I'll spin all three of my bobbins and then I'll take them down to um, my Ashford Traveler. I actually really love my Traveler for plying more than I actually like spinning on it, but that's a personal thing for me. Um, I know there's a lot of people that, and now I've lost the end of this. Don't laugh at me too much. It happens to the best of us, right? But I, I have lost, I've lost my end. <laughs> well, there won't be any plying at all until I find that end. Wait, wait, wait. Is that it? No. I was, I was a little too, um, I was a little too tidy, I guess, when I was packing this up to bring it out here. I was worried that it would come unraveled. And now I can't find my end. Okay, let's try the other one. Try the other one first. Maybe if I have luck over here. Oh, yeah, well. Mm, yeah, hmm. This could be fun. First world problems, right? Can't find the end of your, uh, your yarn on your, your bobbins. Well, that's entertaining. Okay, well, what do you think? Should I do a two-ply or should I do a chain-ply? That's really the question here. Should I do a two-ply or, or should I do a chain-ply? Um, I like to do both. They're a little bit, you know, different, each one. And, uh, and don't forget that, um, you know, this week I'm talking about spinning, but I am also guest teaching. Aha! I found one end. Yay. I'm also guest teaching over at um, the Wool and Fiber Arts group. So um, you can join me over there and um, learn all about socks. I'm doing a whole series on socks. I've already done... Um, four lessons on socks and I still have one to do and um, oh my I love you know I'm just so this is what I do when I'm trying to find the end on um, a cotton like tatting ball so maybe it'll work <laughs> on my boffins <laughs> maybe not I know it's got to be on here somewhere. Hello, come here, end. Where are you? Aha! It did work! It did work! Yay! That was better than I thought it would be. So, um, yeah, if you guys want me to show you how to do a chain ply, I could do that. If you are more interested in just chit chatting about spinning, maybe you have a question about spinning, we can talk about that instead. Um, I'm just going to load up my empty bobbin here on my wheel. And then I'll show you how I tension. Often wind off my bobbins to a ball winder and ply from the start and end of, oh, well, that's not a bad idea, Jane. I, um, I tend to live life a little more on the wild side, mostly because, um, well, I spin for fun, as I've said before. I just spin for fun. And like, I'm doing this whole spin together thing um, with the Pearly Shell Fiber Arts group because, um, honestly, I never done spin together before. And um, I didn't even really know what it was. And Heather posted about it. And then I thought, oh, that kind of sounds fun. And then, I don't know, I like got really into it. And I've already spun up one whole skein. And now I've got two bobbins to ply again. And, um, and Tina has been dying roving. And she has been spinning on her e-spinner this week. So um, hopefully she'll be on Friday. And she'll show you some of what she's been dying. And she'll show you her e-spinner and what she has spun. Um, because she's really been into that and, um, and I'm, I keep checking the time because in just a little bit I have to switch over to wool and fiber arts so I can talk about socks and today we're starting uh, the top down sock series so I've already talked about kind of all the prep stuff and now we're going to going to talk about um, cast ons and um, top down socks but um, so you're more than welcome to join me at Wool and Fiber Arts, and I do share that back to Black Sheep, and I have been trying to make sure I put them on the YouTube channel as well. So I, I am trying to make sure that I put everything up everywhere so that if you want to watch uh, what I'm doing, you can find it. I try. I am trying. Um, so anyway, if I manage to... I'm going to try to get this plied today. Cross your fingers. It's probably going to end up two skeins because I don't have any bulky... Um, I don't have a bulky flyer and I don't have any bulky uh, bobbins, so I'm probably going to have to spin one full, wind it off on the nitty knotty, spin another one full, so that'll be kind of entertaining. Um, and then once I get this done, then I have some BFL. I'm like just trying to spin down my, my fiber stash, that's really what I'm doing. Is I thought, oh, let's join spin together and it'll be all kinds of fun, and then Ina has been so much better than I thought she would be, 
Um, and I'm just trying to spin down my fiber stash because, well, then I'll add to my fiber stash, right? Because that's half the fun. Um, well, okay, it's most of the fun, spinning it down so that you can add more to it. Um, so my drive band. So I have a funny story about my drive band. I think if you were watching me back in, I think it was July, um, I was doing my like spinning demonstration and I got my wheel out and it had been so long I couldn't even remember how to open my wheel. I knew, I eventually figured it out. And like I told you, my drive band was like kind of mm, old didn't have great elasticity and I was pretty sure that it was going to break and then later on that week I told you that it had broken uh, well my drive band decided that it was going to just bite the dust and um, I'm trying to think like Saturday it broke once um, and then Sunday it broke in the morning and then in the evening it broke like three more times so and it, I just like I couldn't get it back together I couldn't get the uh, polyurethane to melt together and stick anymore and it was just it had just lived its useful life um and i don't spin as much as i should i mean i've been spinning since 2004 ish but i have probably only actively spun for like maybe a year of that because i go through spurts where like i'll spin for a week and then i stop and then i spin for a week and then i stop and then i I'll spin just enough to make a couple of skeins and then I stop. Um, and and then like there were three or four years where my wheels sat and I told you guys about that. They sat and, and I did nothing with them. Uh, and actually I made sure that Sunday I was talking to Heather and, and those gals that um, Sunday I got out my Ashford Traveler and like wiped it all down because it was super dusty and Ina had been playing with it so the drive band was ruined. Um, it was all wrapped up around the flyer and, and anyway, so I just cut that thing off and I restrung the drive band because I do like single drive. So I restrung the drive band on my uh, cute little traveler and then I oiled everything really well so that if I decide I want it this week or if something happens to my Sonata, I do have a backup. And I have my e-spinner. I could use that um, electric eel wheel nano. You know, I have that. I showed you that um, earlier this year. but. Um, I just, I, I really like the action of treadling. It makes me feel good. So I'm going to try to stick with my more traditional wheels this week, um, to do that. And I found one of my spindles. So I actually bought a couple of Bosworth spindles way back in like 2008. And, um, I lost one in the move and I thought, oh, it was just gone forever. Uh, no, it was not gone forever. I had tucked it in with fiber. So when I was like digging through my fiber stash to decide what I was going to spin this week, I found my spindle in a bag with the tease water because I love tease water. And I had dropped it in there um, after like spinning a tiny little sample, like maybe, you know, six yards or something, just a tiny, tiny little sample to see what it looked like. So I found my spindle. Um, so that was lots of fun too, because it's like surprises, right? All right, so um, anyway, I just wanted to check in with everybody, tell you kind of what's going on. Um, if you want, I can try to demonstrate um, how I do a two-ply, or if you'd like, I can try to do chain-ply, um, or if not, then we will um, get together again on Wednesday. I'll tell you what's happening then. Um, hopefully, Tina will be on Friday. She'll show you what she's been spinning. She'll show you what she's been dyeing, um, because I know she said she's been having a lot of fun um, dying up some roving and we actually have a fabulous wheel um, that's been consigned to us with a lot of add-ons that Tina told you about a couple weeks ago so if you are in the market for a new wheel um, it is a Sonata and it comes with um, a lot of extra stuff and it's a great price for what it is so if you are looking for a wheel might be a great time to get one um, I know I was tempted but I really like my clear Sonata, my clear finish Sonata. And I think the one that we have consigned is a walnut. So um, if I end up spinning more, maybe I'll invest in a woolly winder. There is a new really cool looking um, magnetic flyer available from Kromsky. And I went and took a look at it, uh, actually, I don't know, three times recently, um, because I was kind of interested in it. I haven't decided if I want to try it yet. I thought about getting a lace flyer um, because I do tend to spin very fine and I cuss myself a lot because I've spun so fine and then it takes forever to do my plying. 
because I've spun it so fine. Um, but that's just kind of how my hands default now because that's what I've trained myself down to. Um, so I guess I reap what I sow, right? All kinds of fun stuff. Oh, and it's a beautiful day here in Missouri. It's one of the last um, nice days before we get just a little taste of, um, of summer again. I think that it's going to be like up into the 80s for about a week and then we'll drop back down. And last night we actually had a tiny bit of frost, so I had to pick the garden and I had to cover all the plants on the deck and shove everything together and cover the porch and, and it was a lot of work. Uh, and it made me realize that maybe it's time to get rid of a few plants that I've collected over the summer because... Um, yeah, I've collected a few plants over the summer. Anyway, all right, well, I am going to prep for my Woolen Fiber Arts um, sock talk, and I will be demonstrating some cast-ons, but if you are looking for more information about socks or cast-ons, don't forget to check the YouTube channel as well as um, our Black Sheep Fiber Emporium website because we do have um, a whole section on there. I think it says help and freebies, and there are, um, videos that you can watch that are linked out of YouTube that I've done where I do a lot of different cast-ons and bind-offs and techniques and Tina's got a couple up there as well and then um, we also have some free patterns that are available on the website and um, and I'm thinking of, um, of doing like a buy one get one free pattern thing um, I'll probably run it through Ravelry, but if you're interested, uh, maybe I'll throw it up on the Black Sheep website as well. That could be a lot of fun, right? Buy one, get one on the patterns. Um, yeah. So I'll tell you more about that on Wednesday, um, and I'll probably throw something up on Facebook as well. Um, so watch for that. There'll probably be a code, and you can just, and it'll be buy one, get one patterns. My birthday is November 2nd, so I'm thinking, eh, we'll just do buy one, get one free patterns all the way through November 2nd because why not why not I can do that sounds like fun right so anyway until next time remember to uh, stay healthy stay happy be you know mentally safe physically safe as much as possible take care of yourself um, you know keep crafting keep doing the things that you love whatever it takes to um, help you because you know we are still seeing a lot of lovely <laughs> Lovely news about um, coronavirus and some infections, and, and it's just—it's not—it's not a happy world right now. So um, we need to do what we can in our own little spaces to help keep ourselves safe and healthy. So you do what you need to do. Um, reach out to me if you need a little help. Um, and until next time, um, you know, just stay safe. And uh, I'll be back Wednesday. Wednesday we'll talk more about spinning, and um, I'll try to get a little more technical. So. Anyway, I'll see you then.